guys and girls, this is Jernigham here doing a quick video again. Um, I find 2022 boring because there's not enough games to come out, there's not enough movies to watch on the TV, there's not enough TV shows to watch. It's just showing the same boring rubbish on the TV. I'm sure some of you put up with it, some of you don't put up with it, some of you don't even probably realise that there's not a lot on the TV. You know, I, have they run out of ideas? Will they make more videos? I mean, will they make more things to be people to be interested in like new game trailers that are coming out i mean the only game i'm really looking forward to this year is guys and girls and ladies and probably the harry potter on the ps5 hogwarts uh, it's not the same as the original harry potter's on the ps3 but uh who knows um gta 5 is very boring red Dead redemption 2 is probably boring as well every game seems to get boring let me tell you why the, the creators that made the games and made the films, some of them probably have moved on, doing other things. Some of them are probably, um, unfortunately, the, the people we used to know in the olden days and these days, some of them have probably died. And uh, it's a shame. In, we miss out good people that were actors and people that actually knew how to make a computer game. They always seem to be hiring people that don't know what they're doing in these game industries and film industries. At least employ... A good actor there's perhaps some actors don't know what they're doing people don't know how to make their own games and thoughts and movies and uh, i don't know it's all messed up guys and girls ladies and gentlemen um where could this world go in 2022 surely they'll be making more technologies more machines perhaps they are i mean one day the ps6 will be out in probably 10 or years time or something even though the ps5 still have shortages of chips that's why they're going to be making PS4 games still. So the PS4 games are probably still going to go, still going to be going for another three or four years, I think. Usually, if we didn't have had this chip shortage in, because of the uh, virus as well, the PS4 games they would have slowed down on because people need more PS4 games. Demand would probably be slim PS4s. Um, eventually, there'd be more chips for the PlayStation 5, so more people get PS5s. I've got a PS5, as we all know. Um, what was I going to say now? I don't know if it's to do with Xbox as well. I've got sh chip shortages, the new ones. I mean, some people prefer the old games. That's why they're playing PS2s or some people play PS1 still, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't know. It's all hands up at the minute. You know, you just got to try and understand. It's just, perhaps everybody's having it hard in a way, making films, making computer games. Just have to be patient. I'm not a patient person, as most of you know. Some people do have patience, but it's just at least have something to do. It keeps your your brain active and your mind active. But when they've got nothing to do, it's boring, isn't it? You know what I mean? I mean, probably back in the olden days, they, they were very bored. But this is 2022. Anyway, I've said what I'm about to have said. I better go. Thank you for joining. See you next video, peace. Take it easy. Tell me what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? They should bring out more things. Take it easy, peace. And thank you for all joining me again.